Teenagers and young adults are increasingly suffering knee injuries, often causing damage to the cartilage. But as WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall shows us, there's now a less invasive procedure that's used to repair that damage with the patient's own cells. Zachary Kesbier was 17 when he tore his ACL playing lacrosse. He had surgery and rehab, but two years later felt sudden pain in the same knee while running. It kind of felt similar to like what happened with the ACL, just not as like painful or there wasn't no snap sound or anything. When teenagers and young adults injure their knee like an ACL tear or a dislocated kneecap, they can develop cartilage problems down the road. Does that hurt you at all? Dr. Joseph Zarnecki, an orthopedic surgeon at Winchester Hospital, says the cartilage becomes rough or a piece can get knocked off. Almost like having a pothole in the road. And so when you're on that road or you're going over the rough surface, then it causes pain, causes inflammation. That inflammation can lead to swelling. A cutting edge procedure called Macy Arthro, FDA approved in 2024, has made repairing the damage much easier. Surgeons harvest healthy cartilage cells from a patient, send them to a lab where they're grown on a cartilage membrane. The membrane is then cut to size in the OR and glued into the cartilage defects using small instruments through small incisions. What I've seen in our patients is that there's less pain, there's less swelling, and they hit their therapy milestones quicker. Several dozen Macy Arthro procedures have been performed in the U.S. so far. Dr. Zarnecki has done among the most, including Zachary's this past November. I didn't really experience any pain like ever. I was very happy with the results. We want them to get back to playing with their children, doing their sports, playing on their you know college athletic teams. Zachary was so inspired he's training to become a physical therapist. Without him I wouldn't have got into you know my, my PT field that I love so much and he's helped me. I, I, I can't thank him enough. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.